apologies, first up, for being a day late. Thanks, Ops. Uh, can I... Uh, I would like to apologise. Yeah. Uh, I just feel out of rhythm. I'm out of sync at the moment. Can I give you credit? And it was shit ass by me. <laughs> when you apologise, you get a level five rating. You are excellent. You don't hold back. You're genuine. You, you know even, why? You don't even sound genuine. You are actually genuine. You know why? Good because for you. I'm an ex-punter. I learned to apologise regularly. What? Who, who? People God, I owed money to, oh. the banks, <laughs> the mafia, yeah. just everybody, everybody. Oh, sorry, I'll have the 20 bucks next week or I'll have the 100, I'll have the 5,000 next week. Just yeah, give me yeah, some time. Yeah. I, I love you. I, how are the kids? Yeah, you're you know, good at it. Yeah, I, can just, see, just, I can see your eyes light up. Yeah. I can just see it. You're and, perfect and, at it. And I can make them well too. You cannot. Oh, I can if I <laughs> Oh, hang on, every day. No, no, Hold Mark. the phone, <laughs> bury the rundown. Come on, come on, give us no, a give us water, Mark. See that? Look how watery. Look at oh this. Oh my gosh, that is. Oh my <laughs> god. Hang on. You're a freak. Just take a photo of that because oh that is god. real. That's real. I snivel it. <laughs> Mate, you can act. I take I take everything back. Thank you. Now I used to ping you for not being able to act, nah. but that's next level. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe your eyes out. That's Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Shut that's, up, this that is Morgan Freeman. That is. That's all. I'm, actually, I, my first kid was going to be Denzel. Oh, <laughs> on the back of Denzel Washington. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, a great little, actor. thought little Denzel running around at Baron Heads might have gone. Equal, equaliser? Uh, equal, uh, oh, oh, everything. Yeah, Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, what's the train one in New York? Um, uh, run it, uh, uh, Pelham 123. Oh, yes. Never, Never seen it. Yeah, yeah. Never seen it. All right, put it on the list. It's so, another yeah. one on the list. Uh, I think the, Marco, question for you. Yeah. The apology was lovely, heartfelt, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Tears. Tears. But I, I just would have thought it deserved more. Oh, come on. What more I would have thought get? like maybe a gift. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, something. A gift. You got a present? I haven't got a present. You haven't got anything? I've got a gas man belt if you want one. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were speculating yes, yesterday, oh, I was, yeah. oh, speculating sorry. what we might get. We both thought we might get a six-pack. Oh, yeah. Six-pack? Yeah, just something just to make up for we're it. We're here at my hab. And you want me to bring a six pack? Oh, each? oh yeah, actually, it's a, it's a rehab actually. center. It's a rehab center. <laughs> it's you, want a bag, you want a bag of coke as well? That's a good point. No, they couldn't smuggle anything in here, um, could they? Has anything, has anything ever been smuggled there has in? There's been contraband. There have been a couple of people rock up with contraband because we do a bag search. And we make yeah. sure that when they come in, the thing. Have they ever walked through the front door up? You know, off their banana? Uh, yeah, they normally detox when they get in here, so yeah, okay. they're normally ready to go. Um, I have found some interesting things. Yes. Some interesting... Um, Care? Uh, condoms are regular. Condoms? Um, they figured they'd come down and get a bit lucky down well, here, do they? Yeah, well, that's... <laughs> they? Which is part of... Which is... Which is <laughs> you never know who you might meet. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, <laughs> they anyway. might be on the sex addiction a- 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 wing. Anyway, they might they might wake up in the middle of the night and stumble don't around make and fun find of it. themselves don't. on the sex addiction no, wing. There's, there's lots of things, but we um, <laughs> but, that, but that's part and parcel. That's addiction and learning to not bring stuff in that you're not supposed right, to. In all seriousness, this Come place. On. You're doing some great yeah, work. Yeah, it's doing really well you're, you're and doing changing some lives. great work. I'll tell you funny about sex addiction. It is oh, like, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Lothario over here. We just, we just, here. Here. We just closed the door here beautifully, go. but go here on. Here we go. If you think about all the things that you can be addicted to, yeah. the, sex addiction is the only one that consistently gets made fun of in movies. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. The only one. Nothing else does. Yeah, but that one is the subject of hilarity. In I saw a Frasier episode last night mm-hmm. on it, and, and it's not it's not funny for those that are no. suffering it. It is not funny, believe me. No, no, no. don't be, you believe me. But not that I've been through it. But I understand the the heartache and and the the devastation it causes. But. There's a little bit of a sex addict in everybody, right? Because it's 40. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just asking because it is, there is, and I keep using this term, there's 40,000 years of evolution yeah, in us all, humans. We all like to do it. And if we weren't a little bit addicted to sex, we would not be here. Yeah, but Mark, I'll, what you think addiction is, is completely different. No, no, what I hope no. addiction is, right, so is me, probably not what okay, I'm hoping so, for. So, so, and, we, and we'll be really quick on this. No, like, Are you at your best yeah, yeah. four times? Yeah, in a twenty-four hour period. Uh, yeah, maybe half a dozen. Tr- try, try four times that every day of your life. No, impossible. Well, that's what it is, and that's what they're dealing with. And that's what they're dealing with. 
So no, I feel sorry for this. Too much. It is too much. But before we move on, you've apologised to us, but there is <laughs> one person you've not apologised to. That is the family. Yeah. To the podcast family for being a day late, I am so sorry. Yeah. I am so sorry. What, I will what be... were you doing down there in Geelong? What was on your mind? No, I just, you know what I was doing? I was getting my passport renewed. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Our, How long did that take? No, it was pretty, pretty easy. They're back in pretty business. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Go and get, it's the one thing, though, you've got to go get your passport done. You're not allowed to smile. You've got to have your mm. head straight. Mm. So um, I wasn't happy with how I was dressed, so I went back and put another jumper on, came yeah. back. Or yeah. not the jumper, but yeah. the, like a polo shirt. Yeah. Did the hair, brushed the teeth. Yeah. Not allowed to show the teeth, but I thought I'd brush the teeth. Just not allowed to, to show no. the teeth. And I just put a little bit of cream to soften the under the eyes. Right, yeah, so just, just to soften things. So I looked a bit younger. Why well, can't you show the teeth? Now let it smile. Oh, correct. Which I thought doing your teeth would be a good one because then you could, that's another form of identity. It's funny, you know, when I met my wife, when we started dating, I had a look at her photo. No teeth? No. <laughs> oh, she had teeth. <laughs> I thought you were going to say she had no teeth. No, but she had the most beautiful licensed picture yeah. you've ever seen. She looked like a supermodel. And she oh, the best picture she's <laughs> ever taken in her life. And you're saying she's not like that I'm in her life? Saying, no, I'm not saying <laughs> that, very you careful. foolish, foolish <laughs> man. I'm saying that that is very rare, that the best picture yeah. that's ever been taken of you <laughs> He's on your happened license. to be on your licence. Yeah. It's impossible. She might have fact. been sleeping with a man from Big oh, Can you please stop? <laughs> I'm amazed sometimes that you have remained married, Marco. The, the things you say and to get away with, it's incredible. I was, oh, at, no, the wedding. I was at the wedding. It was from Frosty, to she, say the least, she, at certain parts, and then Marco <laughs> smooths it over again, and it's all been happy ever since. Was he drunk? You know, no, no, you weren't drunk in the wedding. You weren't. But your no. cousins were making up for it. Can you yeah. remember the story I told about the milk? Because uh, uh, just really quickly, so oh, yeah, we, do, start yeah, date, we start dating. We start dating. That's right. <laughs> Things are going really, really well, and out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I could feel the tension in our relationship. You know, we've been going for a little while. Anyway, she, she used to stay over on Tuesday nights and, and the weekends, which was which was always nice. But she was <laughs> why Tuesday nights? I don't know. Melrose night. Uh, yes, was it? Yeah, it was Melrose May well night. Have been. Yeah, it was. Anyway, um, she was a rev girl. She had to have rev milk. So I've gone down to Seven Eleven. No rev. I didn't think anything of it. I got light start. Oh no! Right. Anyway, so it's the Tuesday. Light starts all set to go. You know, I've been courteous. I've made sure there's some lights, some milk for it. Yeah. She saw that light start. <laughs> she lost the plot. <laughs> she lost the plot. <laughs> lost the plot. Why? Why? <laughs> because it wasn't Rev. And I was a selfish bastard yeah, I know. Yeah. for not getting Rev. That's now, unbelievable. As far as an option, Light Start's a bloody good milk, fellas. Oh, I think it's a great. I it's think a, it's a, it's I, mighty. I think it's on par. Yes, it's very it's, it's good. A, it's not like Titleist thing, Calorie. It's not like Coke and Pepsi. No, no, right? no, no, no. This is like no, this is like Big M and I C. This is it, right beside it's, each other. It's okay. Yeah, but like I said, there was tension. Yep. And this was just enough to tip it over and the what edge. What happened? How'd you? We broke up. Oh my gosh. We were off. We, the milk. we were off. Well, that was a light start. Off. <laughs> off. Over. She it, didn't, it didn't rev it up, No, did it? She, anyway. she revved up, though. Anyway. What happened? How'd you, how'd you resurrect well, it? Well, you know. How'd you rev it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I turned up. She left a few things. I turned up at the front oh, doorstep of her house. See, that's the oldest trick in the book. And I dropped them off and I said, listen, this is sad because I really love you, darling. You know, it's really sad. And she called me back the next day. She came back. And we've been a Rev family ever since. <laughs> we've never missed the beat. Never. I, 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 don't want to, I, I don't want to sound disrespectful to Trish and, and I certainly don't want to be on a bad side, but I, in, in fairness, I reckon she was in the wrong there. Yeah, mate, no doubt. And the one thing is no you, kidding, don't, you don't cry over spilled milk. Jeez. <laughs> 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 Very nice. i tell you what, though, it's good to see you laughing, Marco, because you were very angry when you came in before. Mate, filthy. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, disgrace. Do I need to get tears again? No, <laughs> maybe. You might. Okay. Mate, remember I told you I got the new cylinder mower? 
Yeah. Remember last time? Don't tell me it's not cutting. It's not. No, the it's blades. perfect. Beautiful. It's the best lawn in the street by a million miles. And Russell, I saw him the other day. His tail between his legs just. I love the word gone. name Russell. I love it. I He's love gone. the name Russell. Anyway. Just does he rake up the leaves, Russell? Yes, he does. He does a, does a fine job. Does he make a noise when he does it? <laughs> <laughs> can, can you just stop yeah, okay. with the puns for a second? <laughs> this is some serious civil selfishness. Okay. What's S- happened? So my lawn's pristine. Beautiful. Bowling green stuff. I rock up the next day. Yes. There is a almighty turd. Oh, no. Right on the best bit, you know how there's some bits that are the best bit. Yeah, That's sitting true. there. Now, it what wasn't sort of a human oh, being? Oh my goodness! Thank you. I'm glad I took a picture of it. That's an elephant. It's pretty big. What that sort a... of a human being lets its elephant? No, we understand he can crap let it... on your front lawn, but he can let it do that. But pick it up and just walk off. Everyone has a bag, a doggy bag. That's you might need a. You might need more than a bag. Yeah, you might need two bags. bags yeah. That's a big Larry Bird. Well, I don't get it. I mean, honestly, what sort of a human being yeah. does that to someone else's front lawn that well, looks magnificent? Well, someone who does not have a magnificent front lawn. I would be suggesting it's either he's either got a great lawn and he's trying to bring your lawn down yeah. or he's a pig and yes. just doesn't care about his front lawn. And guess what? I told, because I, I do, we, we live in a side-by-side situation and my next-door neighbour's name is Fernando. Oh, oh really? they, they like, yeah. No, okay. <laughs> go yeah. on, go on. No. Is he, is he a drummer? <laughs> no, go on. No, no. I'm, leaving it, I'm leaving it there. That's no, all right. No, no. Are you sure you no, don't no, want no, it? No, no. Go and start singing the song. No, no, no. Mum, <laughs> I was going to say, Mum, Fernando. <laughs> anyway, um, I look after his side as well. I look after yeah. it because he looks after the roof. Yeah. I was going to go in and get the camera because he's got the cameras out the front for both Do of it. us. Do it. He was in Noosa. I couldn't get in the house. Break so in. he was my break in. Break in. He was my chance. I, I would have seen him, her, him, oh. whoever for sure. But I'm telling you, if you happen to be listening to this podcast, whoever you are, I'm going to hunt you down. Can you just put a ring uh, doorbell on, which has got a camera out the front, which will catch every person or dog that he's pooping on your lawn? Consider that done, sir. I think they're 230 bucks. Just go and get one. Life's good. And too many people are shitting on my front lawn, yeah, by the way. I know. Too it, many. It's now a target. Your lawn cops it more than most, I reckon. I, I, I don't, it doesn't happen to mine for some yeah, reason, I, but it happens to yours like, almost every couple of weeks. I feel targeted. Yeah. Mm. Does Dan Andrews live near you? <laughs> no. That's <laughs> <No. laughs> no, no, no. It doesn't. <laughs> Can you stop? Um, Please. Quick one. Uh, yes. Quick confession. It's only a really quick one. Bought a bag of twisties the other day and hoed in. Disappointing. What? I haven't had twisties for months. And have you months got a my? Ha- have you got a wing for twisties <laughs> here at my hab or not? <laughs> I bought it, and I was kind of. I felt a little bit guilty, to be honest. Coops finished the packet off, but I had a good half for half the packet. And it was a king size party bag. Did it you feel dirty? Lot. Yeah, I did. I did. Did orange you go all, and wash your hands? Yeah, orange all over the hands. Had it, was the, it was the big one, the king size one. Yeah, I only had half. What made you Could, do it? What, I don't know. Was what tipped you over the, the edge? Uh, they're on special, four bucks. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty good. So <laughs> anyway, that's my confession. But I've got, I've got, I need your advice. Me? You. All right, yeah. When it comes to relationships like your oh, rib story you just told us. I'm which, number one. Which uh, <laughs> you are the best. Oh. We've got a listener that listens into this podcast. He's a Sunbury lad. He's yeah. a good mate of mine. Yeah. Um, well, let, let's call him Yoki. <laughs> okay, Yoki. All right, Yoki, Yoki one can know. So, so y- Yoki, Yoki's forty-eight. Um, he's single. And he's a good Ooh. looking. He's a good looking. He's a rooster. rooster. He's a rooster. A single forty-eight-year-old rooster. There's no rooster. sweeter spot to be. On a scale of one to ten, as a good looking rooster, where is he? Like a, an eight? Uh, he's, he's, he's an eight. eight. He's an eight. He's always he's always done really well. In good shape. Very good shape. Oh, mate, he's a tinder god then. Um, he's He's got it happening. Right. Got all his hair, all the right colour. <gasps> wow. He's in playing weight. Does he need some he's, more friends? He's fine. I like, he, 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 <laughs> I like the sound of this he's character. He's financial. Ooh. He dresses well. Mate. Um, so he's got it all happening. Is he ageing well? You know some guys get better Absolutely. looking as they get older? Absolutely. Absolutely. And he listens he's, to this podcast. Yes, he's got a few greys. He's got a few greys. Oh, but it's okay. But so, No, but I'm talking like... They're in the right places. I'm talking about... Uh, who's the bloke? Um, George Clooney. Who's... Oh, hang on. Who's this? Is that him? Hello, hotline. Who's this? Hello, it's Roscoe the Miner. How you going, boys? <laughs> Ross the Miner. Ross the Miner. How old are you, Ross? <laughs> <laughs> I think you said that last one. Hey, <laughs> now, Roscoe, thank you for calling back because you... Actually, you let us down. 
Yes. Yeah, reliability is the number one thing in this podcast game. That is correct. I was rather busy snoring my head off. Yep. <laughs> oh, you got a sleeping issue or, or is it because <laughs> – what, what is it? i got a work issue. They need me to do night shift. So. Oh, yeah. that's okay. hard, yeah. That's Hang on. So for people who don't remember, this was a couple of weeks ago. We called Roscoe on the phone. He had a, a story Eight to times. tell us. We, call, <laughs> we called <laughs> him and, and went to voicemail and uh, – and we and you never called back. Yeah, I did let you down yeah. a couple of weeks ago, but mm-hmm. I called yesterday and no one answered. <laughs> Where were you? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm. Yeah, I. Yeah, I. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, t- look t- touche. <laughs> you got nothing. You got I got. Nothing, n- I got nothing, Roscoe. <laughs> I got nothing at all. No, I missed all yesterday, right. but we're back now, and I want to hear, yeah. hear your story. What's going on? Right. So way back in the early nineties or so, I was playing club cricket um, mm-hmm. in another state, in a southern state. There, um, what was I about? 12 or 13 or something, uh, training on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And after the boys did a bit of training, they'd play a bit of blackjack. Nice. 10 cents to $2, I think, was the in bed or whatever. Yep. Yeah, like I say, I was probably 12 or 13. I'd turn up with a little bit of pocket money, something like a dollar to five bucks, something like that, yeah. and burn it pretty quick usually. Sometimes I might come away with $10 and think I was rich. Yep. But anyway, this one particular night, I think I had a dollar, so I was I was living large, obviously. Um, <laughs> turned up and had a and few your bets teammates and... were would have been really happy to take that dollar off a thirteen year old miner <laughs> off the off the little kid. Absolutely, they oh, would have been loving it. So yeah, turned up, uh, put my dollar on the table, broke it down. Obviously, got a few twenties or something. <laughs> um, played a few hands, got a few dollars. And then nice. won the deal. Ooh. And sometimes, as you know, the deal can go good or it can go real bad real quick. So my deal went all right for a bit. I had a few goldies there. Um, I think I even cashed a couple of notes for the for the boys. Ooh, and, um, nice yeah, yeah. I think I might have started stacking the goldies even. Oh, yeah, hang, hang on, buckle in, buckle in, absolutely. And then um, yeah, I was oh this is going all right. I was half half counting the money. I probably had twenty bucks there from a dollar. Um, and like I say, I was only twelve or thirteen, so you know, good times, good times. Mm. Then some more notes started coming out. The deal was going very well. Ooh. I um, I think I started stuffing the notes in the pocket. Even Ooh. probably went on for oh, I don't know half hour, forty minutes. <laughs> so at the end of the night, come I think I did a big count up, and I had a hundred and fifteen dollars in the pocket. Oh my god! One hundred and fifteen times yep. your money is a big, big day out. Started with one dollar. One dollar, yeah. And um, never, never play cricket at the club ever again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The kicker is the kicker is I went out and bought a brand new set of sneakers and turned up to train in the next week and said, look at these boys. Thank you. Yeah, well nice. done. Very nice. Well done. That a nice is sensational. Well, Roscoe, how's work going? You still a nice No, shift? no, day's off at the moment. Day's off, so that's all good. Lovely. I've got a two-second story about your traffic, Dobbin, if you want it. Yes. Yep. Go on. It. We need to hear it. Right. I was on my way out to work the other day and coming towards me was a B-double and a car overtook it on double white lines around a blind corner coming at Oof. me. Um, yeah, yeah. I didn't have to do too much. I had a bit more time. I broke and, and it was all good. But then I thought about it. Someone said, you're going to dob me. And I thought, no, nah, no, nah, I think they got scared enough. But then I thought about it and I thought, oh, my two boys, they probably need a dad forever. So I thought, bugger it. And I dobbed them in. Nice. Well there done. you go. Nice. Very, very good. Well, well done. done, sir. Well done, Roscoe. Hey, thanks for joining us and thanks for calling back yesterday and no one answered. <laughs> and thanks for following up again today. Appreciate it. Nah, all good boys. Love the po- love the show. Have fun, eh? Cheers, good mate. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Roscoe, there, the minor. So, yeah, just sixteen years old. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get out of my head now. Hey. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now, hang on. We're, before Ross called in on the hotline, no, so uh, we're up to we're up to Yoki. Oh, Yoki. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so Yoki's Yoki's. Oh yeah, Yoki. Yoki, Yoki I Yoki's, forgot all about Yoki. Yoki's forty eight. Yeah, he's dating a twenty three year old. He's a rooster. Um, and he's getting a bit of grief from his mum about <laughs> dating a, a person of different age. Right. His dad's punched in the air. He's pretty happy. Yeah. Pretty proud of his son. I wouldn't be listening to mum, Yoki. Siblings are sitting on the fence. His mates are pretty happy with him but just said to be careful. Okay. Because we don't want to settle down and have other kids to a yeah. 23-year-old. Yeah. So, Marco, the question is, yeah. what is kosher? What is kosher? Correct behaviour is twenty five year is a twenty five year gap too much? And before you answer this, think about it. We're going to have a break, and during the break, think about your answer because you want to get this one right. 
Right, can I just get one one final? Has he got kids anywhere? Yes. How many? One. That's all James I need. Willis. Oh, Marco. James Willis. Oh, put him I haven't on. heard from James Willis for a put long time. Put him on. Put him on. He's in the middle of a pod. James Willis. Hi, mate. James, we're in, it's Ox and Marco. We're in the middle of doing our podcast. Hello, and you James. Called up in the middle of it. How are you, mate? What, are we live on air? You are. You, oh, we're well, live in the podcast land, so it'll go. It'll go live soon. So, How are you? Hang on, hang on a second. So James Willis is famous from Two GB. He was Alan Jones's uh, right hand man, and now you're Ben Fordham's right hand man. Is that right? I am, and I'm a big fan of the show. I thought you guys were doing open line, so I called <laughs> in. <laughs> doing, doing the soapbox or something, weren't you? Uh, <laughs> something like that. Something like that. How can I help you, James? There's a fr- okay. There's a friend of mine that uh, has been with his girlfriend for three years Ooh. and they live together and Ooh. every time they go somewhere special now she's expecting him to propose oh. but he doesn't want to be pushed into it and wants to do it at his own pace and I'm worried that it's creating a bit of tension between them because it's kind of ruining these nice nights that you know and when they go on holidays and that sort of stuff so does he need to just harden up and pop the question or uh, does she need to just back off and allow him to do it at, at, at the own pace? Three years in, living together, what say you? Does he like her enough to propose at some stage or is he just dragging this thing out? No, I think they're in love. I just think he thinks in the modern day there's no rush to to get married, but she's obviously very keen for... Yeah, okay. uh, it's to occur. So, no, I'd, I'd yeah. drag this out for a little bit longer. Pretty simple. I, yeah. and, and if I could give him some advice, and I know you asked Marco, but I've, I've been down this path as well. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. Tell him not to wear clothes with pockets <laughs> and not to wear any socks <laughs> because <laughs> then you know there is no ring hidden anywhere. <laughs> so there's no expectation nice. when you go to dinner. Good stuff. As a team, we're very good at this. What's the, what's the general? Is it a month's salary? Like what's what's the ring meant to be worth? No, it's carrot. It's all about that carrots. That change with inflation. No, yeah, it's carrots, all about carrots. Carrots, carrots. carrots. 10,000 so, gets the job done. That's two carrots. Yep. 10K. Okay. Good Simple stuff. Simple as that. Thanks, boys. Good on you, James. See you, mate. See ya. Okay, now I've got to, I've got to fix up Yoki, and, and I've got Yoki sorted. I'll give it to you in a tick. You're having a couple of beers with a couple of blokes? This is Ox and Marco. We'd love you to subscribe and rate us when you get a chance. So, just had a slot of Bicky with some cheese. Did you? Yeah, it's nice. 25 year age gap. Yoki's got issues with, you know. The look. Well, a bit of look, but also morality. What? Is it too, is the age gap too. Is it too large? Is it too large, yeah. Is it too Hugh Hefner? Yes. My answer to you, Yoki, is get your smoker's jacket, <laughs> and I want you. To to enjoy it. Put a grotto in the backyard and just enjoy. You will never get this opportunity again. You're both adults. Even though you are a rooster now, the chances are you're going to go downhill very, very fast. Those little greys that look distinguished right now, they'll turn into a full head of grey hair and you'll look like an old man. Like Richard Gere. And if you're smart, when that time comes, you won't be dating a 23-year-old, you'll be dating a... A beautiful 33-year-old, beautiful person. Yes. And that is the dream of so many. So to you, Yoki, I say, stuff what people think about this age gap right now because in 10 years' time, you'll be a hero yeah. to so many. I'm about to tear up again. <laughs> <laughs> to tear up again. Hey, can I just, just on the back of that. Yeah. I, I don't know if I've ever told you this story. In third man, I haven't told you this. My granddad, mm. at 76, yeah. married a 26-year-old. He what? did not. No. He I, did not. I've got uncles that are 38 and 40 years of age. And you're 50, you what? And I'm 50 something. And I'm 51. You don't call an uncle, do you? No. <laughs> no granddad, you have to. Granddad, I, granddad's dead now. No. But she stayed with him until he was 92. No. Then she gave him the Tijuana. And... Oh, hey, well, no, hang, hang on, hang on. She, she gave him the Tijuana... Was he alive or was he? He was gone. No, he was. On, he was pretty crook. 
So she's divorced him when he's ninety two. No, I think she just no, I think she just did the Harold Holt. But was he around she, the twist? Was he had he you know, no, he's was he okay? Cruel. Yeah, he was pretty he was yeah, in a home. Well, he was in a home. That's he was in a home, but she she went back to Germany and uh she took up Residence back there. Hang on. Did she ever wear low low hose? That could have been. That's pretty yeah, she, irresistible yeah, for yeah. those old seventy six year olds. She yodels as well. <laughs> oh, so, 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 my, so I got uncles that are thirty eight and forty. Now I want to pick you up on something. And it was a bit odd. It was a bit odd when Granddad would rock up Mate. with his walking cane, and he's got this. I, I'm disappointed in this you. This thirty year old who's damn. This story's made me disappointed in you <laughs> because you've got 30-something kids who are your uncles and if you are not calling them Uncle Cooper <laughs> and Uncle Lockie, <laughs> then I can't be friends with you anymore. Next, time, you next time I speak to them, I'm going to say, hello, uh, uh, Uncle Max. Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Max. Uncle Max. Uncle Max is th- Good old he's Uncle th- Max. He's 38. <laughs> oh Been there for you've me my whole life. It. You have to. <laughs> All right, I will. It's, it's just so uh, wrong, especially someone like you. But he copped a bit of grief. He copped a bit of grief about the age gap. Did he? He did not give a rats. Yeah, that's right. That's he just marched on. He <laughs> was happy. He was happy as Larry. <laughs> was Jeez. she happy? Well, she must have been. At least twice. Yeah. Who was the bloke who ran? Cliff Roberts. He was the same. Cliff, uh, Cliff Young. Young. Cliff Young. Cliff Young. He, he, had, he had the same deal going. Yeah. He, like married, he, was, he married a young. He married a young. Well, then he eighty or something, and he's yeah. ma- married a twenty-five-year-old. Yep. And he, she hung around. Doesn't go the other way, though, does it? Like, I, I can't think of a, a really older lady who's married a younger dude. Yeah, Courtney Cox was going out with Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, that was, that was, a, big, that, that was yeah. a big game. Twenty years. Courtney yeah. Cox. No, that was no, De- no, Demi, Demi Moore. Demi Moore. Demi Moore. Demi Moore went out with um, Hang on. Ashton. Demi or Demi. 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 Mm, okay. What are you, Demi? I think I'm a Demi. She was always Demi. Demi Moore. You call it Demi Moore. I think. Well, I, I think Demi is what that name would be pronounced like. Yeah. Really? You know her best work? A movie called About Last Night. Really? Oh, just. She's pretty good in Ghost. Yeah. I'm. Um, see, Patrick Swayze never did it for me. I took up, I took up, I took up clay modelling because of that movie. <laughs> 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 never never <laughs> had an interesting clay I, in my life. I all, knew of you sudden, say all, that. all of a sudden, I bought a turntable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I put an art smock. <laughs> I was invested. You start living in a New York style apartment. <laughs> That's the way. Oh, jeez. Now, you guys want some feedback? Yes. Because we've got loads of it. I need some feedback. Now, yeah, heaps. So, last week we were at ENS Trading Clayton in Clayton on Dandenong Road Mm. in Melbourne. You you walked out with a dryer. Can I give you an update? Yeah. Yeah. Best thing I've ever bought. The dryer? I'm not joking. Unbelievable. It's got your clothes come out cold, but they're dry. How does that work? Because what dryers do. Oh, no. They normally come out warm. 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 Smoking. And the towels are soft. Soft like towels? soft towels. Mm. What's that soft, all about? I love soft towels. It's my first Bosch appliance. Ooh. It won't be my last. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And it won't be my last purchase from A&S. Well, a big I can thank assure you, you that. badly for getting us out there. And that was a good deal you got too. Oh, safe Every, hundreds. Hey, everyone walks out with a good deal there. Cool. You, know, you don't get, never get ripped. Hey, hey, did you see DJ Generic? Is yes. that part of the feedback? Go on, read that one oh, out first. DJ Generic, yes. Read that one out first. I saw that you guys were there. I went on the website, bought a dryer, cheapest price by over 80 bucks. Thanks, team. There you go. Yeah, DJ Generic. There'll be people listening right now who have got no idea. He plays in Vegas in front of forty and 50,000 people. With Kelvin Harris. All the time. I'll tell you a little story without giving off any truths. He has made eggs and bacon for Taylor Swift. Correct. I believe you have told this story before. Has well, he? it's I, a great I, story. I can't remember that. No, you did. But on air, yes, you have. But I you also said, that. well, you did. Did, right. did he? I, I, you know, I've got a good memory. I remember this stuff. Okay, really. But you and s- you also. <laughs> but you said you'd get him on the podcast. Oh, we can oh, get DJ easy. easy. He's living easy. in Melbourne. Easy. We'll talk dryers. We'll talk Collingwood. Yeah, we'll oh, talk he's, golf. He's massive. Speaking of dryers, uh, Tim said, "I hope Ox finally got that new dryer because I'm tired of hearing about the 15 amp Maytag." Yeah, you think oh, yeah. about that one a bit. You do bang sick and tired of that yeah. Maytag. I've yeah. just moved that into the garage, actually. Yeah. It's about to get that. I'm hey. sick of talking about the coin joke as well. Every time you bring it up, I bring. It's I a, just rehash it. It's, it's, it's a good it's gag. Oh, yeah. It is a good gag. Uh, Jack had an issue with uh, you last week at oh, ENS, Mark. Mark, mm-hmm. what did I do? What's he done? Mark Allen looks like he wants to go and farm on his wife with that shirt. <laughs> That's right. It was it's a, a bit, beautiful it, Gazman shirt. 
Yeah, it was. I was very proud. It was the farmer edition, eh? But that's all right. It was. It's a rosy colour. I like it. Yeah, thank you. I like it. Now we mentioned on socials earlier uh, last week that uh, you were going to throw that you threw a tantrum on the podcast, which you did uh, about the sandwiches. The sandwiches. Yeah, and the sandwiches and the buns or the rolls or something. It's, no, uh, no, 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 no. Stephen Leaney threw that tantrum. No, you threw a tantrum because you had sandwiches on Saturday and wraps on Sunday. Oh. oh, oh yeah. well, don't a, try and downplay during it. commentary. Now, at the time we said that, we didn't say what it was about, and Stuart has said, oh, my gosh, have they banned cardigans and high pants? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's actually quite good. That's funny. Now, you guys were talking about Tatum O'Neill the other day uh, and how you were a big fan. She was your first crush, I think. She was my first crush yeah. on Bad News. She was the girl, uh, the tomboy in Bad News Bears. Oh, really? That's right. That's right. She, she, she had a few rough edges, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Again, with... Uh, with a bad girl. With John. Yes. With Mac. Yes. With, with John Mac. Yeah. Well, you'd have to be a bit a bit rough if you were John McEnroe. Well, you had to dodge the rackets for <laughs> <laughs> first and foremost. <laughs> anyway, Patricia's written in and Patricia said, if I batted for the same team, Tatum would be at the top of my list too. Ooh. Oh, there that's you Patricia go. from Toolandvale. On you, Pat. Wayne has said, yes, Marco, I agree. I saw Little Darlings too. She was superb. Yep, yep. I've got to revisit this because mm. I... I've missed something. I have too. I, I, I've not have seen you? any movie she's in. I don't, Are no. you kidding me? No. And she did, the way she first, she, with her dad, her dad is somebody very special and they did this movie called Paper Moon and they were hustlers. Oh, you keep going, I'll find out who Tatum well, O'Neill's dad is. It's funny you mention movies because we had a lot of feedback on a couple of weeks ago, you guys talk about sports movies. Yes. And we're kicking it around for a bit. And we, there's a few that we missed that people have told us about. And there really is some really good ones here too. Mm-hmm. Cameron Douglas, best sports movie ever, Balls of Fury. Balls of Fury? Balls of Fury, okay. Yeah. I have not seen it. I think I've seen it. Stuart has said, and, and this is actually one we did miss, Stuart has said, a very good sports movie, Friday Night Lights. Yeah, very good. Yep. Excellent that, movie. That is a cracker. Excellent. Uh, this, oh, what you found that uh, message, Ox? Uh, Marco? Yeah, Ryan O'Neill. It was Tatum O'Neill's dad. And okay. they did Paper Moon together, and that's a great movie as well. All right. Ah. Paper Moon, I'll put that in my book. Dodsy's written in, Let It Ride and Caddyshack are the best two sports movies. Let It Ride. Let It Ride is at the top of my list. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I actually modelled my life on Let It Ride. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> Didn't work out. It was... <laughs> when you're on a roll, Marco, you just keep going. You double up. I love you it. double up. I love uh, it. Mark 45, I can't believe you missed Teen Wolf as one of the best sports movies. I wouldn't call that a sports movie, but okay. Michael well, J. Hang Fox. On, hang on, Michael hang on. J. Fox. He was. He was a, bo- he was a basketballer. Mate, then Tim Wolf too, he was a boxer. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it was just a movie about werewolves. <laughs> uh, Nick Jones, love the pod, guys. The Natural is the best sports movie oh, ever, yeah. but it's the Greer, Robert Redford, not Paul Newman. Yes, apologies. Apologies. We worked that out not long yeah, after yeah, we, uh, we stopped we the, the, uh, the machine. It's unusual for us to make mistakes, but yes. occasionally <laughs> one, <laughs> no, <laughs> occasionally yes. one yes. slips through. And uh, final message here. This is from Vienna Bradley. I can't believe Ox and Marco didn't say cool runnings up there for great sports movies. Oh, yeah. yeah. John Candy, one of the greats. It's uh, one of those movies I've only able, been able to watch once. I've, I've never, watched it I've 15 never, times. Have you really? Oh, I've been going back over it. It gets better. It hasn't aged. Yeah. It is a cracking movie. John Candy's best work? Uncle uh, Buck. Uncle Buck was yeah. brilliant. Right up there. He was really good in um, Home Alone too. Oh, yeah, very good. Mm. There's a big pancake. I saw it the other yeah, day. Huge, huge, huge pancake. pancake. Uh, that was the last message on the movies. I think uh, Vienna makes a very good one. She sounds like a very, very intelligent young lady. Hang on, I was going to say oh. Vienna Bradley. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Uh, Vienna Nepotism. Be- Vienna I never be- thought we'd stoop that low. Vienna because she was conceived or born? Uh, neither. Oh, neither. No, just you, love the name. You, you, oh, okay. You okay. might have been eating bread or breaking bread at the time. Or <laughs> no. no, okay. No, well, that's how names are done, aren't they? Well, <laughs> sometimes. Uh, terrible comment here. This is actually appalling. This is from Doggies of Docklands. Uh, we're chatting at work. We rang us after you talked about it. Apparently, at school, they played Rang a Roundup. Put two soccer goals together to create a Ranger cage. That is revolting. Now, there's a, there's, if you actually look up so Ring a Roundup, start. Don't even. <laughs> if you do, no, then then if you, you do, you're you're look it up. You're going to trauma. What was that show? Uh, uh, the kid, the comedian did, and they tried to ban it, and oh, it was at yeah. the high school. Yeah, um, you know, with something high, name? something high. Uh, you summer know, high tie. Summer, summer high, high tie. High tie. Yeah. If you look up Ring Around Up, it's one of the funniest clips you'll ever see. And <laughs> that was uh, Chris Lilly. Yes. Chris Lilly. Summer does, high tie. Yeah, it, it's, it's probably, in fact, they've probably taken it off because, you know, you're not allowed to say bad things about Ringers anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tim, Sad days. 
Tim, Marco, yes. the, the reason you're getting hangovers is that you're not drinking fit. You need to step up, not give up. Also, the Ox has it covered with Cape, uh, Cooper's Pale Ale. It's preservative and additive free. Sounds like an ad. You've been saying this for a long time. Australian made known. It's the only way to go. Keep up the good work. And, they've got, and in their constitution, Cooper's, the Cooper's family, they can never sell. Mm. It's in the constitution. They can never sell. Well, they really? really sell the business. No. It's got to remain in the family. That's in the constitution. They cannot sell it. Is that the Allens family thing as well? Because you've got something similar, haven't you? No, 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 no. Grandpa, very different. Yeah, right. no, you yeah. just sell it to the highest bidder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Those lollies yesterday, by the way, with those mixed yeah, lollies, nice. they were very good. None left for you today, Ox. No, but clearly, you sent me a photo saying, we've left you something, and I came in yeah. here, they're all gone, I thought, oh, fresh. hang on, the clients here at my have had a... Uh, Super f- very fresh too. What's no, happening? Well, normally... Oh, you normally, don't package, do they? Normally, it takes a long while before they get on the shelves, yeah. but Grandpa just... Just sends them direct. Puts them straight in the box. And That's why they taste so good. last bits of feedback, boys. Uh, Aspie Henry's uh, written in about the motorcycle video that uh, we put up. Don't be a snitch. We're not commies. It's a bit harsh. <laughs> I'm half agree with it. No, we don't agree with him. We're not commies. Ridiculous. Uh, Stephen Murphy has asked a question, and I think this is a good question. Yeah. Was Sergeant Michael Davis the first responder? <laughs> Very good. Very and good. I think the answer is no, you weren't there. No, no, I wasn't there. Although you were in Wollongong recently. Uh, I have been in Wollongong. Yeah, I did. I went up there with um, Josh Giddy's dad. Have you ever been to a dress-up party as Sergeant Michael Davis? No, and just put on the... You I've have to. Well, you, well, Christmas isn't far away, right? Yeah. And we've got a big we've got a big Boxing Day Dude. party at my yeah. place. We've got 50-odd uh, people coming. Senior and, Sergeant and it's Michael an Austra- Davis. it's an Australiana theme. Mm. I could go as a cop out of cop shop. Yeah, cop shop. Senior Sergeant Michael Davis. Yep, Senior oh, Sergeant should. Michael Davis. So good. And finally, a bit of feedback here, guys. Steve Shags Potsy yep. Pots. What a name. Oh, hey, I love Potsy hey, Pots. Hey, we talk about uh, Nico caddy? Hearn. Nico Hearn beating Tiger Woods twice. That was his caddy? Shags used to caddy for Peter O'Malley, who also beat Tiger Woods. So kind of in our little family, we've got three members who have all beaten Tiger Woods. Yep. Well, we've got two members that have beaten Tiger Woods three times. We've got three degrees of separation. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. And and let's go one step further. Yeah. We're also in the family. We've got a bloke who actually broke Tiger Woods' relationship with his wife. That's Mark Allen. That's me. What? Yeah. He, broke, he broke the Rachel You Could Tell story yeah. oh, worldwide. Yeah, yeah. Between, and also the Steve Williams. No, I got that one first. Steve and you got that one as I well. I got that one first so as between well. The, between the little family, <laughs> a lot of people have taken Tiger Woods down. That's it. <laughs> yep. It's unbelievable. Yep. And we've also got a bloke who lost $4.5 million on the punt and then made $10 million talking about losing $4.5 <laughs> <laughs> million on the punt over there. It's just the, the family's astounding. It's a huge family. Uh, anyway, Steve has said, I love listening to you two roosters. Keeps me entertained when I'm driving around. Very nice. Awesome. Good on you. And nice, nice to be referred to as a rooster too. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. Adam McKenzie, final bit of feedback. It's the best day of the week when Ox and Marco and Talk Birdie to me drop. Makes the morning of work go quicker, being entertained. Hang on. I only wish there was two drops a week on your lads. Do you drop the same day? No, nah, Tuesday. I was going to say, oh, day before. oh, that'd be right. <laughs> Get that'd, in early. That is a disgrace. <laughs> when we set this thing up, Talking Birdies wasn't, oh, even, no. a, wasn't even a thing and well, now you're going before us. Well, it's rocketed to the top. What can we do? Well, there's about three golf podcasts in the world. If you're not in the top three, you're not doing anything. 30,000. Like. I'll tell you one thing about Talk Birdie to me, though. At least Nick O'Hearn always turns up when he's supposed to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and boring. Yeah. Cool. I'll tell you what. A, Nick O'Hearn put a glass eye to sleep. He can't well up like you. <laughs> <laughs> he, can't, he can't well up, mate. Well, I'm going to say this. I love Nick and I love the podcast. So oh, that's great nice, work. Yeah. Good work. That's it. Uh, see you next time. No. What about our joke? Ah, spin the wheel! Excuse me. And you said it correctly. Let's spin the wheel. And you're not going to believe it. It's laid on a glass eye. A glass (laughs) eye joke! (laughs) A glass eye joke. Oh, there'll be heaps of Oh, we could even put that glass eye to sleep. I got one, I got one. Right. I've got a mate who was actually seeing a girl with a glass eye. Right. But it didn't work out. Why? He thought she was seeing someone on the side. (laughs) 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 That's That's nice work. All right, we'll catch you next week. Thanks for listening to Ox and Marco and being part of the Couple of Blokes, Couple of Beers family. We always love you getting involved, so follow us on social media, let us know any comments or thoughts you have, and leave a voicemail anytime on the website, coupleofblokescoupleofbeers.com. 
Thanks to the team at ES Trading, they are fantastic. And their new clearance centre in Melbourne on Dandenong Road, Clayton, right opposite IKEA, is absolutely next level. Definitely worth checking out. Couple of blokes, couple of beers. Executive producer is Dan Bradley at Kaizen Media. And sound design by Daryl Misson at loudzebra.com. 